this time of the quick speed shop, I've become a carpenter. I'm building the wooden floor for the pickup box going on the Model A Doodle Bug. All right, so I'm kicking it old school. I got my handsaw out, crosscut handsaw. What I got is a uh, a two by four that I pulled out of my my uh, pile of lumber I got, and I'm just doing this out of plain pine. I'm gonna paint it or stain it because I don't want uh, treated lumber to lay on this frame. I think the the treated lumber could rust this frame after a while, and it would also rust the hardware that I have because I don't have. Uh, Zinc plated hardware, I just got regular hardware carriage bolts to bolt this together. So I'm cutting three cross bucks out of a 2x4. And the, the inch and a half height is perfect to clear this brake rod going across here. But I've already got one cut, they're all the same width, uh, 42 inches wide. I'm going to cut three out, there's going to be three cross bucks here. Then I've got some old uh, rough sawn hemlock or something, or pine, I'm not sure what it is. It's, it's old and hard, that's what she said bolt down, carriage bolt down to the top of this inside the pickup bed and I'll still have a rough sound floor and I'll throw some polyurethane or something on them to keep them uh, a little protected from the weather. So I've already cut out one, I've got this marked, I'm going to cut out the other two and then uh, we'll get the box up on here and try to figure out exactly where they got to be, mark all the holes, drill them all, get, the, get this bolted down and ready to go. Here I come. Bam! That's what I'm talking about. That's all you need, a rusty crosscut saw, you're good to go. A little deburring action here. Why aren't I using a circular saw or a chop saw? Because they're all put away and they make a whole bunch of dust. And I can clean this up easy, and it's only three cuts. So there we go, bam! Mind the back. Boom! Watch your face. I think I also got to set the seat <coughs> seat bracket on here. Oops. And uh, so we're not too far because this butts up against the seat bracket here. I got to set that on. I got that drying after I painted it. But here we go. Seat bracket in here, like so. Oh yeah. It's got to go back. I'm going to bolt the seat bracket down so I got that as a locking point. And then uh, this will tell me where I got to be here. Here, bam, put the tailgate back on. Nice. So here you can see it better here what the bed looks like. The, the lumber will come right across the top of these 2x4s and it'll stop right here on this metal edge. And uh, right now I'm just going to square this up. Right now I'm going to square this up and get a look at getting everything where I want it and I'm going to mark where these bolts got to go through the frame and we get this straightened out and then I'll bring in the rough sawn lumber and we'll lay that out on here and see how it lays out um, if I got to trim a bunch or whatever. So I'm going to get the old tape measure out and get this all squared up and then mark my holes and drill them all for quarter inch carriage bolts to go down through the frame. I got my boards all trimmed and drilled. I'm just painting them with some uh, some old Valspar uh, oil-based enamel. It's the same uh, paint I use as kind of stain on the floorboards up there, but I've mixed it up so it's thicker now. Got it mixed up good. So I'm painting the uh, bottoms and the edges of the boards because they'll be face down. Just putting a nice coat of uh, this is flat black, but just kind of seal these up. This will help them be a little more weather weather resistant and uh, the amount of this thing's gonna see weather underneath it's not gonna really matter but this will keep this this uh, lumber a little protected and it's okay to use the top of your frame 
for a sawhorse because everything's black and you won't see it and it'll be under the bed. This thing is the best of all worlds. Sawhorses and fun. So I'll just get these all painted up right quick and uh, we'll continue on to the next action. Alright bam look at this it, it builds itself. So I can't remember where I got these boards and I'm not sure exactly what wood they are. I think they're hemlock or pine or something. They, uh, they're pretty old. Um, they might have been in some kind of crate or something like that because this one's got staples in the end of it. But I had a whole bunch. I've had them for like, I don't know, at least 15 years and they've been up in the overhang of my garage and now they came in handy. So what I'm going to do is I measured this off. It's 42 and a half. I'm just going to saw these at 42 and a half after I make sure the ends are square on the other side. And I'm trying to pick, <coughs> trying to pick a good orientation of these are cupped and twisted a little bit. I'm trying to pick which side is the best and which way has got the least amount of twist in it. But it's not going to really matter here. We're not. It's not going to be perfect. It's just going to be kind of rustic. I wanted a rough sawn look in the floor of this because it's probably most likely you would have put rough sawn like oak or something down if you're building something like this back in the day. So, this so I got to work with, it was free. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start sawing these off at 42 and a half, and then I'm going to pick the placement, lay them all out in here, mark them, and then I'm uh, going to uh, get the polyurethane out and polyurethane them all um, before I bolt them down. And I'll also paint the tops of these uh, cross bucks here. I'll paint the rest of this black here. And I think I want to do my spacing. I think I want to leave like an eighth inch gap between these just so um, if this thing's out in the rain, the water can run off and not pool, and it'll just run out down between and run out of here. But I want it tight enough together where if I wanted to haul gravel or something in the back of this, I could have it do that and not have fall out. But I think this is going to be cool. I think it's going to be a neat addition to the doodle bug. So I'm going to get the handsaw action going. I'm going to saw all these off, and uh, we'll lay them out and go from there. All right, I got all the boards cut out. The outside ones, I've got to rip about a half inch off each side to fit in the bed here. And what I've done is I've I've drilled the center one and I've marked it the, the center and I've bolted it down um, just with a regular bolt temporarily. It's going to get carriage bolts when we get ready. But now I'm just figuring out how I want to space these because I don't want them to swell up and buckle into each other. So I got these uh, fat washers, which are about an eighth inch thick or so, I think. They're just a shade under an eighth. And I'm putting these in, <clears throat> in between here, and that'll give a little uh, a little wiggle room for the boards. So I'll gap them all out with washers, and then I'll drill each one of these, and then uh, and then mark them, and then have them all laid out. Then I'll rip the outside ones down. They're actually not plain marks; it'll be the sawtooth marks. I've kind of like lined those up here, so they kind of follow along, like so. It looks like it's sawed out of one big piece of wood, sort of. I've been trying to line those up the best I can, so give a little extra detail. But it's looking good. It's going to be uh, it'll be nice and sturdy, and with a little bit of polyurethane on it should look pretty nice. All right, bam! Check it out. I've got the uh, polyurethane put on the boards here. It soaked in pretty good. Um, it's like a satin satin finish, so hopefully it'll. Look kind of natural, I guess, but uh, it'll protect. Put a little water protection on these boards, and I've got to go ahead and uh, I've got to trim the outside too. I got to rip them down half inch off each side while these are drying, and then we can go ahead and we can assemble them in the pickup box. All right, bam! There it is. It's all bolted down and uh, all installed. I've got one coat of polyurethane on this. I'm letting it dry for like three hours, like the can says, and I'm gonna. When I get done, I'm going to hit this one more coat on here. But the next thing i got to do is there's going to be a bulkhead here. A bulkhead across the front of this behind the seats. Something like that. I'm going to make a little bracket to bolt in here and then I'll have a little uh, storage compartment up front because I think I'm going to put because I'm going to put the uh, the battery in. Where's the battery? So the battery's going to sit back here behind the seat. The battery cables come up and they'll, they'll go on the top of the battery here. 
and uh, then I'll make the bulkhead come right across wherever the battery and the seat are going to be. So the bulkhead will hold the battery this way and I'll have a little bracket down here so the battery will sit contained. And I'll also have a positive stop for junk before it gets behind the seat. So it still gives me a little pickup box here to work with. And then room behind the seats and a little storage area. So I think everything's going to work out just great. The tailgate goes and it, uh, closes up here nice. Now I've got a little pickup box action for hauling junk on the doodle bug. Okay, the bed's pretty much done now. I got the uh, front board bolted in here. Um, it's got a little tab in the front and then one screw through each side of the bed. I've got the battery mounted here. I've got a couple little uh, flat black metal uh, pieces of angle iron that are going to screw down to the bed and it'll just keep the battery from sliding around. It's heavy enough that it won't go anywhere, it won't tip over, nothing like that. If it does, I can always put a little strap on it, but that should be good enough. You got the uh, the rest of the wood, two coats of polyurethane on the wood. The tailgate's all ready to go. And then over here, I put my tail light on. I've got this cool uh, vintage tail light mounted on one side. I'm going to be mounting the license plate here. And then I've got a little detail piece. All right, bam, so here we go. The bed's looking good. It's pretty much all done. The tailgate's functional. I got the battery mounted up in here. I made two angle iron brackets. They're going to screw down to the wood floor here. They'll keep the battery from crashing around. Um, I don't think I need a strap for it. If it's a problem, I'll make some kind of strap action for it, but it should be okay for now. I've got the uh, front of the bed made, a piece of wood. I've got an L bracket mounted between the seats. So that's all mounted up in there. And then uh, over here I've got a vintage tail light I'm going to put on with a license plate. i got an old plate I'm going to run on it. And one little piece of flare I'm working on is this uh, body tag I got out of the junkyard. I think this would be cool. I'm going to make a little oval back plate, plate with a, uh, a screw hole here. And I'm going to mount it up over the license plate on top of the bracket here. So I think they'll add a little bit of flare. That'll be pretty cool. Eventually I'd like to wire up an electrical system so I can get a tail light and a brake light working in this one and I'm putting headlights on the front. It'd be cool to get those working, but for now, for going to the show next week, um, I'm not going to have that done. But This pretty much wraps up the back end of the doodle bug. Um, I think it came out cool. I like this rough sawn wood floor. as That's what the look I was going for. It's going to be kind of rustic looking and pretty cool. So, I'm happy with it. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm going to put a circle over there on the far side of the tailgate. Go ahead and hit that to subscribe. I'm putting out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So tell your friends. Hit the bell for the alerts. And as always, we'll see you again at the Quick Speed Shop.